So I have a little surprise for oh you. Oh my gosh. To okay. right here. Vanessa, guess what? This is the first ever The Dinosaur Show Jeopardy. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're doing it. This is happening. We got categories and everything. <laughs> this is amazing. So show show the kids at home. Yep. Um, because the dinosaur show is V low budge, uh, I don't know where you're gonna put that. Uh, personal life for two hundred dollars. Personal life for two hundred. <laughs> Good start, Vanessa. Do you have a pet? And if so, what is its name and its Instagram handle? <laughs> uh, I own a Labradoodle. I own her because I have a contract of sale. <laughs> Stating <laughs> professional life for two hundred, please. Also. Professional life for two hundred. <clears throat> Other than The Dinosaur Show, mm -hmm. which is what you're on right now, in case okay. you're wondering, um, what other YouTube channel might we see you appearing in? What is Braincraft? Braincraft is my YouTube channel that is about you, about your brain and your body and the decisions that you make or you don't make. Professional life for what? 1,000, 1, please. 1,000 mm -hmm. US pesos. <laughs> when did you know that you wanted to go pro as a nerd? and become a science communicator. I didn't even know that science communication was a thing and I had been studying science and we had someone come in at the end of one of our classes saying that there was this science writing course mm -hmm. that you could take and I was like, that exists, that's a thing. <laughs> hey. Science writing is a thing, I had no idea. So I took this one course and I really liked it and the lecturer from that course introduced me to my first boss, basically. So I got a job out of doing one subject in my degree. Dinosaurs for 200. Dinosaurs for 200. This one's pretty easy. You knew this okay. was coming. Okay. What is your favorite dinosaur? Oh, my favorite dinosaur is the Brontosaurus. <laughs> Instead of just talking about Vanessa's favorite dinosaur, I thought I'd take her to my favorite museum in the entire world to see it live and in person. Before the dino police jumped down my throat, this is not a brontosaurus. It's the incredibly closely related apatosaurus. Here's the deal in 30 seconds. Brontosaurus was given its name in 1879, two years after the apatosaurus was discovered. Fast forward 14 years and we found enough sauropods to realize that brontosaurus is probably just a subspecies of apatosaurus. And because Apatosaurus was described prior, its name takes precedence, and Brontosaurus goes extinct once again, much to the chagrin of the general public, who, for the next century, continue to call this guy Brontosaurus. Then, just two years ago, paleontologists at the New University of Lisbon analyzed 477 physical features across 81 different individual specimens to reveal that Brontosaurus is indeed different enough to warrant its own species designation, in essence bringing Vanessa's favorite dinosaur back to life. Now, when you're 85 feet long and weigh 20 tons, eating is job numero uno. But before we even get to teeth or digestion, look at these claws! Do you even know these guys had claws? Scientists think they used them, kind of like crampons, to hold onto the trunks of trees as they reared up to reach the highest levels of foliage. Alright, you've selected the perfect tree, and your pencil-like teeth strip the leaves from the branches to be swallowed whole, because you got no teeth in your mouth for chewing or grinding. And what this means is that every single day, upwards of 800 pounds of unprocessed leaves needed to be broken down inside your enormous gut. And that only means one thing, literally millions of tons of emitted methane. And that is right, my friends, there is good evidence to suggest that farts and burps from sauropods help to literally change the Earth's climate during the time of the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs for 1,000, <laughs> Vanessa. What is one way that paleontologists, or one process by which paleontologists can learn about dinosaur brain sizes and possibly even intelligence? What is making an endocast? Bingo, yeah. ding, ding, ding. Now, bonus question. Okay. If someone perhaps might want to learn more about endocast, how might they go oh, about doing that? I know this one. Hmm. You should come over to my channel, it's called Braincraft, and we made a video. Dustin's in it, and you can learn all about it. Three, two, one. 4,800? Is that what I said? I don't remember. Oh. 
the entire money in my face. Anyway. I've won a very large amount of money and neither of us can do arithmetic anymore. Nope. <laughs>